Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error code that is TFAV0012 system integrity violation error. So if you're receiving this error with the finals game on a Windows computer, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, before trying any troubleshooting steps, simply restart your computer once. Sometimes a simple restart takes care of the problem. So simply restart your computer once and then launch the game and then check. But still you're facing the problem, then turn off D-Trace. Now, if you have D-Trace installed in your computer, turn it off and then you have to uninstall D-Trace. So to turn off the D-Trace, type in CMD in Windows search box and then make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. Copy it, paste it over here, hit the enter key. Now once this is done, now you have to, once you run the command, now you have to uninstall D-Trace. Now to uninstall D-Trace, type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Then click on uninstall a program. And over here, find D-Trace in the list. So here you can see D-Trace for Windows, make a right click, then click on uninstall, click on yes. In future, if you want to reinstall it, you can always reinstall it from Microsoft website. So this process will take some time. So let it uninstall first. And then you have to click on yes to restart your computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. I'm not restarting, but make sure that you restart your computer. So restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. Next step is to enable the secure boot in system BIOS. So go to your system BIOS, um, whichever brand you have. So if you have Dell, HP, Lenovo, whichever brand you have, you can, you can search in Google how to go to system BIOS. So go to your system BIOS and enable the secure boot if it is disabled. Now, once you go to the system BIOS, now go to boot option. So find the boot option in your system BIOS. And I'm showing with Dell computer, this is just an example. So go to your system BIOS and then go to boot option. And over here you can see boot mode is set to UEFI in my case. And then you have to enable the secure boot. So scroll down here, you can see um, secure boot and, and it is disabled right now. To enable it, um, you can turn this on over here. And then on the bottom, apply changes. And then click on okay. And now you can Restart your computer. You can exit and then restart your computer. Now the next step is to enable secure, secure virtual machine in system BIOS. Now if the virtualization is disabled in system BIOS, you can go to your system BIOS and enable it. You can Google the motherboard if you have, uh, whichever motherboard you have, you have to Google the motherboard and then you can it, it will let you know where to how to enable the SVM in system BIOS. So go to your system BIOS and enable SVM. Now go to system BIOS and then find virtualization support. In my case, the option is virtualization support in your system and this is with Dell model. So in your system, you can find it where you can find the virtualization support. And then if uh, this virtual support is turned off, you can turn it on over here. And once you enable it on the bottom, click on apply changes and then click on OK. And then exit and then restart your computer. Now, the next step is to enable memory integrity and Microsoft vulnerable driver blacklist in system in Windows security. Now for this, open Windows settings and then go to privacy and security if you have Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, you will have an option update and security, then click on Windows security. Now over here you can see device security. Now go to core isolation, click on core isolation details. Now if memory integrity is off, turn it on. Also if this is off, turn it on. Click on yes. 
and then in my case please ignore this if you are able to enable it you can enable it if you are not able to enable it just ignore it now scroll down over here you can see microsoft vulnerable driver block list now if this is disable in my case this option is grayed out now in your case if this is highlighted if this is not highlighted if it is grayed out like this you can ignore this so turn on memory integrity turn on this kernel mode hardware enforced stack protection if you are able to and if you are able to turn on this option turn it on if you are not able to then you can ignore this once this is on then restart your computer after the system restart you can launch the game now if you are unable to enable the microsoft this option in windows security in that case you can follow the next step to make changes in the registry you can go to this location so type in registry editor in windows search box and then click on registry editor click on yes to allow now you have to expand h key local machine and then expand system now expand current control set now expand control now over here expand ci and then select config now once you select config on the right hand side here you can see vulnerable driver block list enable make a double click and set the value data to 1 so if the, if this is 0 or something else just type in 1 over here and then click on okay and then close this now restart your computer restart is a must and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to delete config file so go to the go to this location so open c drive now open this pc select this pc open c drive now open users folder and then open your username folder now open the app data if you don't see app data over here on the top click on view and then select show and then put a check on hidden items you should be able to see app data folder if you have windows 10 somewhere over here you will find the view option click on view then somewhere over here you will find the hidden items box put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder now open the local folder now open the discovery folder so if you find discovery folder open the discovery folder now open the discovery folder now open the over here you will see this these config files over here so you have to delete the now once you open the discovery folder uh, you can delete this you can delete the complete discovery folder now when you delete the discovery folder you will lose all the game progress and you will lose all the saved settings so if you agree you can make a right click and then click on delete once this is deleted now restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall easy anti cheat now for this make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files it will straight away take you to the game installation folder now over here you can see uninstall easy anti cheat file make a double click click on yes or you can make a right click and then click on run as administrator click on yes and once that is done make a right click on install easy anti cheat and then click on run as administrator click on yes and once this is done now you can launch the game now still you are facing the problem in that case you can make a right click on uninstall easy anti cheat and then click on run as administrator click on yes and do not install now this time after you uninstall it go to the game and launch the game and during the launch it will click on yes to allow and it will reinstall easy anti cheat so it will reinstall it now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like if you have avast norton bit defender macafee whichever antivirus program you have make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security then go to windows settings and then go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 if you have windows 10 you will have an option update and security and then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down now click on manage ransomware protection now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow now click on add an allowed app now click on browse all apps 
Now go to the game installation folder. If the game is installed in C drive, open C drive, program file 686. Now open the Steam folder. Now open the Steam apps folder. Open the common folder. Over here you will find the game folder. Open the game folder. Select all the exe files. Select it, then click on open. Again, click on add and allowed app, browse all apps. Select this second exe file, click on open. Again, click on browse all apps. And then open the engine folder. Binaries, Win64. And you can ignore this. Now this time open the discovery folder. Binaries, Win64. Select this exe file, now click on open. Once everything is added, now type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Now go to system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Now click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings on the top, click on allow another app, click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder. Select the game exe file, click on open, click on add. In my case, this is already added. Again, click on browse, select start protected game and then add again click on allow another app browse and then open this uh, discovery folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on open now click on add once the game is added over here now click on ok and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card go to NVIDIA website if you have MD card go to MD website I'm showing for NVIDIA so try this this has worked for a few players so it might work for you so do a clean installation of your graphics card driver so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 GB so I will calculate as per 16 GB so and first of all we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on OK and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total RAM total RAM in my case it's 16 RAM 16 GB so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 491152 now click on set over here then click on OK OK apply OK OK now restart computer Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to update Windows to the latest version. Now this is important so go to the settings, go to update in security or Windows update and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game. Now the next step is to verify the game files. So make a right click on the game, select properties, go to the install file 
tab and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification launch the game next step is to perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all in my case disable all option is grayed out i already did it in your case this would be highlighted so make sure you put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all then click on apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart a computer and then launch the game also close all the background application so make sure only the steam and the game is running the rest close everything including all your browsers and even you can open task manager and if you have any third party application running close it from here so make sure that you close all the background application and run the game and then check now the last step is to uninstall and, and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working you can make a right click select manage then click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer after this and after the system restart reinstall the game to different drive so if you have another ssd or hdd try installing the game to different drive and then launch the game and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel